coffee time and welcome to what is really quite a peaceful morning. We're here at Farley Mount, I got here at dawn, uh, looking for the hares. I haven't seen too many, it's about 10 or so I've seen in different locations. They're all a bit lethargic at the moment, not a great deal of chasing around. I was here last night um, just for a couple of hours and again about 10 or so in different different locations, twos and threes. But again, not much in the way of uh, chasing or boxing. So I think it's going to be investing uh, a little bit of time. I've got a couple in front of me at the moment, but they're, like I say, they're just laying up. So I think, yeah, it's going to be a bit of a challenge. But yeah, let's see what comes. With the scaffolding around Farley Mount, it looks as if they were going to do some refurbishment which from my memory and the last time I visited there, it was definitely could do with a little spruce up. There's one long footpath that travels adjacent to four or five fields, each of them having groups of hares up to about five. Hopefully by the beginning of March, they'll group up and be a little bit more active and see that boxing. It was nice to see these red-legged or French partridge. They're closely related to pheasants and definitely coloured more vibrantly than the native grey partridge. Another coffee time. I decided to uh, have a little break. The last hour or so was was quite hectic. I've set myself up on a junction between uh, three fields. You've got one over here, this side, and then Far Farley Mount is, you probably can't see from here, but it's right over the back. So I've been seeing hares in all three of the fields. Um, I've had some fallow deer right up at the top of the hill there. Just noticed that it coming out from the woods was really quite nice. Once the rut is finished for the fallow deer, they separate out into two herds, the, the does into one herd and the bucks into another. And you can see here that uh, very similar to the buck that we had in the trail cam video, quite a few of them have lost the antlers. But whilst I was filming a stone chat that was on one of these posts here in the fence, I had a pair of hares come running through that gate there and just stop, you know, probably six feet away from me. And I just sort of froze and they froze, sort of looked at each other and then they uh, managed to sort of run off into this field to regain my composure and, uh, and then filmed them as they ran through uh, this particular field and then on through the other field and away. Did two circuits, uh, did the same again actually and uh, I missed it for the second time as well which is quite bizarre. It 
So it does look as if the breeding season has started, although the peak probably is going to be in the middle of March. So we can see the male here chasing the female, and they're definitely not running at the full pelt. She's weaving back and forth. So she certainly seems to be receptive, because if she had had enough, she'd have probably turned around by now, and that's when the boxing would take place. So I'm just hoping that we just get a reasonable evening so that I can grab a little bit more. Well, let's see what comes. Okay, the grey sky was a little bit harsh. I like this bit of filming because you could see this hair doing this a little bit of a shadow boxing. I saw this hair resting on the edge of the hedgerow and thought it'd be a good opportunity to try and get as close as I could. So I just took the camera and a bag to rest upon and crawled along on my front, getting closer and closer, which seemed to be a great idea at the time, until after about sort of 15, 20 minutes and really started to ache. And I found it so difficult to keep the camera steady. So sorry if it's a... Uh, a little bit shaky. They really seemed to be very attentive looking after those legs. I was really surprised how long they were. And you can definitely see they're built for speed. So I managed this for about half an hour and I thought, no, this is a young man's game. So I crawled back again, sat back up and used the tripod. Unfortunately, didn't disturb him. I was amazed how alert it was. Just a little bit of noise over the far side of the field and it was on it straight away. I'm almost back to the car. I don't think we're going to get that promised clear sky. Uh, we have got some clouds, but I don't think they're going to catch. It's a little bit too cloudy. So I don't think we're going to get a decent dusk. Well, on the way back from the opposite end to the car, I managed to count about 20, 22, 23 hairs. So there are certainly a good number here didn't really see any boxing, a bit of shadow boxing. I think that's about it, really. Uh, but I think uh, maybe a little bit early, second week of February, maybe uh, come back again just uh, a little bit later. Um, end of February, beginning of March, might give it another go. But it's such a quiet place. That's what I like about this venue. It's just really idyllic. And with the skylarks right at the beginning as I got here, just made for a wonderful day. 
Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a big thumbs up, like and subscribe. And as always, look forward to you joining me for a cup of coffee in the next one.